What's up, guys? This is your girl, Nicole Hoops Alexander, and you can check out my interview with my boy, Alfred, on MrTalaferro.com. Now, we are live again. It's Alfred Talaferro back with this MrTalaferro.com, and I have the pleasure, the honor of interviewing the beautiful, the gorgeous Nicole Alexander. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We have so many questions that have been left <laughs> unanswered that we want to know. Um, Let's start out. The last time we seen you in a reality show setting, you were walking away with two hundred fifty thousand dollars from my little money. Woo! Yes, I was. What have you done with those finances? <laughs> we gonna get right into it. Your what mom you... didn't tell you not to ask about people's money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. What have you done with the two hundred fifty thousand that you received, being the winner? Of? I just spent it very wisely. Uh, I actually invested a lot of it so mm -hmm. we could keep on going and help the family out, mm -hmm. and also. I like to travel and eat, so I've been a few different places and just, I, I mean, enjoying myself. Living life. Just living life. Living life. Feels like. um, now, for you, you live in the Knoxville area. How long have you been here? I'm going on close to eight years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I moved out here from Michigan and I just, I did it. Actually, on the account of a previous relationship that I was in, and mm -hmm. he played basketball, and I came out here and I loved it, and so I stayed. Now, speaking of basketball, I, I remember from the, the Flavor of Love days, you're a bit of a hooper yourself, I right? I am. That's how I got the nickname Hoops. Do you still play basketball to this? For fun. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You probably could still go out and beat me, but <laughs> ask another topic for another day. Yeah. I, I, uh, I do some celebrity events, basketball games and stuff like that, and for the most part, just take the kids to the park, play, but it always turns into a tournament there because everybody wants to play. Everybody's a top dog, so you know I got to go out there and show off and kill everybody. Now back to flavor of love. The, the questions that everybody wanted to hear. Now, uh, do you keep in contact with anybody from the show? Anybody? Not in particularly that show, mm -hmm. but I love money made so many like I think connections forever. Um, me and Ahmad, mm -hmm. real, we're very very close. Um, I still keep in contact with Joshua, that's white boy, and pretty much I mean that's that's really about it that I'm in constant contact with. Real and Chan yeah. were two of the characters that they still... They are characters what? in real life as real. well. <laughs> what are they up to? You, you, you still They're working concept. on, they got a few projects going mm -hmm. too or whatever, and we just wish Ahmad the best or whatever as he's uh, getting over his sickness. And, mm -hmm. you know, he was diagnosed with cancer, so he's been fighting. Now, any memory from you from the show that sticks out with you, that lasting memory that you have? Well, which show? <laughs> Flavor of Love. I love money either of the two. Either of the two. You know what, I mean, Flavor of Love was such a turning point in my life, mm -hmm. and Flav told me, he said, Nikki, this is going to change your life, and I didn't know what he was talking about, I had no idea, I mean, and sure enough, and once, you know, I ended up winning, and it was just call after call, and then people, hoops, 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 and I'm thinking like, what the, he told me, he said it would change, you know, I just didn't know how, I mean, I was kind of, this wasn't something I aspired to do, I was blessed, and mm -hmm. I was put in the right position. And then everything started to happen. So that's the difference with me. And I've just, I've rolled with it. Now, um, how did, like, just changing your life, you said it changed your life. Now, how do you, you go from just being a, yeah. a calm girl, yeah. you know, just, I believe on the ranch you, you lived. Yeah. Um, how do you go from there, just being in the limelight, how do you make that adjustment? Cause that's a big adjustment. It's a very big adjustment. It was very difficult at first because you're literally just, you're thrown out to the wolves. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially exactly what it is. And so, I mean, I don't know, I think it just depends on the type of person you are, uh, your life experiences anyway. And, you know, this is what I've learned. You can have everything and anything, and you can go from nothing to having everything. It only makes you more of a person than you really are. Mm -hmm. So if you got a big heart, your heart becomes even bigger. If you're an asshole, you just become a bigger asshole. So, you know, everybody's like, you take it well. It's my job. I'm, I'm a public figure, so... Um, I'm happy about it and blessed that people are like, oops, oops, today I'm still like, how do they remember that, you know? <laughs> but we had a top hit show, so. That was the show. Yeah, I remember back it started in everything. Mm -hmm. It yeah. started this whole the love and hip hop. Yeah, Could so you... I get to say I'm an OG. You're OG. <laughs> <laughs> OG. <laughs> now, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of love and hip hop, since, what do you think about reality shows today? Because they kind of are all spinoffs of. They are. Yeah. Everything has completely just spent off from what we started. Um, I don't watch much because mm -hmm. I'm so busy doing so many other things. And um, I mean, I don't know. As you know, I, I just announced that I have a, a brand new show coming. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just more focused on family and um, uh, happy times, mm -hmm. like the happy things. Of course, it will be drama, but 
you know, it's, it's real life drama. That happens, not, not drama where, I'm gonna take this water and throw it in her face and see what happens. That's, I don't know. Never again will you go down that, that lane of the reality, the, not the reality, but like for contest type, you, you, are you done with that phase of your life? Um, you, yeah, now I'm just more focused on doing my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you just, you gotta keep going this way. Now I've seen um, the vi a video on YouTube of the family, uh, mm -hmm. a Christmas video, I believe. Yes. You guys were oh, yeah. getting down all day, every day. It's like never a dull moment. We're always making up stuff, and we just decided, like, hey, let's just put it out there. I mean, yeah, that's how we are, and that's only four of us. There's six of us. Really, and all yeah. six will be on the show, correct? Yes. Okay, we are excited for the show. If y'all gotta ch get a chance, check out that YouTube video on the Cole Alexander's YouTube page. <laughs> it's wild. Now a boutique in Knoxville. Why a boutique? Uh, why not? Uh, I like to travel. Well, when I do travel and I do my appearances and things, like it's hard for me to find an outfit that I can just get on a plane and go. Mm -hmm. It's hard. So I was like, you know what? Let me bring some of the different styles that I like to wear, love to wear, and some of my event dresses. I'm gonna bring them right here because I have a lot of friends here too and say the same thing. I'm like, you know, I'll just I'll start a store. You know, is and it, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Is there is there a, a, a a, mark, a target market that you're just going for? Is it anybody in Knoxville? I, I didn't try to be specific. I have such a uh, diverse demographic, mm -hmm. so I wanted to bring like things in for everybody. So I can hit anywhere from 18 to 40s. You know, it doesn't even matter. Are you branching now? Is this is the only boutique we're going to get. Can we expect more in the future? Um, yeah, I would like to say I would love to start with a Nashville and then go to Atlanta, all the surrounding areas. You know, I, I'm looking to do a men's store. I already mm -hmm. do men's suits. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just keep on going. Now, I'm not the biggest fashion guru, but do you mind taking me around this beautiful boutique we're down here today? <laughs> sure. All right. Okay. So, with a lot of the pieces, which I am the buyer for my store, mm -hmm. um, I, everything has to be different. Mm -hmm. Also, with my boutique, it's exclusive. There are only six pieces that will ever be in the store. Once they're gone, they're gone. You'll never see them well, ever again. So, when I did like this, is one of my carpet event dresses. So, we have cutouts, just a black color high low dress, and I have them in a couple different colors. But this is one of my favorites. I love this dress because you can dress it up or down and it's different. I've never seen anything like this. So you could get high end jewelry and high heels with it or you can pair it with a nude belt and some cowboy boots. Awesome, <laughs> right? Yeah, so like, are you trying to woo her? Are, are you, you trying, trying to surprise her on a date? What are you, where are you taking her? Surprise date. We'll a go. surprise date? We'll, we'll go with the date. Uh, I didn't tell her about it until last minute. I just said, honey, we're getting up and we're going somewhere. Okay. What can I do for her? Okay. So typically, if it's a last minute thing and then she has to hurry up and get ready, little black dress is always the best. Okay. It's super easy and always sexy. So I have a black vintage lace wow. dress that actually cinches in here and it is adorable on. This has been one of my best sellers or whatever. So I would recommend this because it's just simple, cute, classy, girly, and different. Okay, it's only two in stock. You said we only get six for each Only dress. six, there's okay. only two left. So, uh, if you're trying to get this dress, you might want to come <laughs> in quickly. Now, you already showed us your favorite dresses. You showed us the dress for um, my significant other. Let's, let's, I see some purses right here. What, yeah. what, what can you tell me about the purses? Well, I carry a couple different purses, envelope bags, just a tote, just things that you can pair here and you can just run out with. So, they're just easy grab and go purses. Um, we also have, well, I also have shorts. This is for my UT girls, like all my little campus girls. You guys are so cute and tiny, so I got the little shorts for you. Little tube top, they got flats, half shirts with fringes, and things nice. like that. Yeah, it's just like more edgy stuff than like denim wear. And my denim wear, like with the shorts, are a high rise, and they're all embroidered, and they have like different gold decals and stuff on them. And of course, we have to have the shoes. This looks like some pretty nice shoes. Uh, yeah, like, you know, five. I don't even think I have a shoe that's less than five inches. They're all like five and six inch heels. <laughs> From hot girls. Not only do you look nice, you get your height right at the same time. Hey, I'm short. I gotta, I gotta be taller. Um, also right here, I actually have a plus size rack. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you can come in and we have a deep V cut or whatever. So, I mean, there's something for everybody. 
I got some cool leisure shirts. And we're going to be growing. So, you know, fall's coming. My favorite season. I can't wait. We have it all. This is Alfred with this Miss Telefero.com. We have been here kicking it with hoops. This has been an amazing interview. I thank you for allowing me to come in. You're welcome. 7240 Kingston Pike is where you need to be to check out her boutique, Heaven on Earth. Definitely come in and check it out. This is Alfred with this Miss Telefero.com. We are here with hoops. Thank you. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my interview, my performance, or maybe it was a feature story. Now, right now, you can either subscribe to my channel or you can watch other performances. Thank you for taking the time out. It's MrTelefero.com. You know he finna drop, you know what I mean? And most definitely, Gunplay album finna hit the streets within the next month or so. So, MMG, we've been popping. Omarion just had a number.